We know that the next Lok Sabha polls will happen in 2024, but the Congress has already started its campaign to regain its lost glory. Having steadily lost relevance among the electorates under the leadership of the current Gandhi family, the grand old party is making a last-ditch effort to turn around its political fortunes. Titled as Bharat Jodo Yatra, Congress flagged off its 3,570-kilometer march from Kanyakumari in Tamil Nadu on Wednesday, September 7th. The march that will span over five months will cover 12 states before terminating at Srinagar. More than 230 Congress leaders led by Rahul Gandhi are participating in the Yatra. More than 100 leaders, including Rahul Gandhi, will walk more than 20 kilometers daily in two batches, first from 7 a.m. to 10.30 uh, 10 a.m. and again from 3.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. The party is hoping to mobilize the masses during its evening sessions. The foot march is also accompanied by a convoy of 59 containers, which are color-coded as per the availability of beds. The Congress leaders sleep in these containers, which are mounted on trucks. They camp on the roadsides, eat food made by cooking staff, and get clean laundry once every three days. The luxurious containers are equipped with air conditioners and modern amenities. One of them has even been turned into a mini conference hall. Rahul Gandhi has a container exclusively for himself. Labeled number one, the container of Rahul Gandhi has a bed, attached bathroom, and a couch. It is stationed in the yellow zone. His security team sleep in container number two, while his staff, Alankar Savai and KB Baiju, are housed in container number four. Congress Secretary Vamshi Chant Reddy and General Secretary are housed in container number three. Similarly, blue zone containers have two beds and a washroom. Congress leader J. Ram Ramesh sleeps in one such container, that is number 15. There are also pink zone containers for female travelers with two lower berths and two upper berths. Besides, they are equipped with attached bathrooms and storage spaces. On the other hand, red and orange zone containers house up to four people but have no toilets. A few containers have also been turned into common washrooms and have been marked with the letter T. The participants are also accompanied by housekeeping staff whose job is to change the linen and bedding each morning once the morning foot yatra resumes. The Congress leaders dine in a common area. They have been instructed to not consume liquor and tobacco at the campsite. The participants of the foot yatra have also been told to not eat inside the containers. Despite high security for Rahul Gandhi, the containers bear a notice that says that the management team would not be responsible for the loss of personal belongings. These arrangements and facilities show that while the Congress is aiming to connect all Indians, the party leaders themselves are turning their back on the hard realities facing real India. Party leader Jairam Ramesh has told reporters that the containers, which will, which will be stationed every night at temporary campsites of about two acres, don't have provisions for food or meetings. There is no TV inside. There is a fan, he said. There are 119 Bharat Yatris, including Rahul Gandhi, who will walk the entire distance of 3,570 kilometers from Kanyakumari to Kashmir, Mr. Ramesh added. Party leader Digvijay Singh, who is the chief of the Bharat Jodo Yatra organizing panel, said the containers are like railway sleeper compartments. According to Mr. Ramesh, the containers are mounted on Tata trucks that are from Mumbai. They are from a private company. Dig Vijay Singh also said it has been decided that from places where the Yatra is not passing, water and soil will be brought and five to ten saplings will be planted by Rahul Gandhi at various places where the Yatra halts. The Bharat Yatris have also been uh, issued standard Khadi bags which have a water bottle, an umbrella, and a pair of t-shirts. Meanwhile, explaining his presence in the Yatra, Rahul Gandhi said in Kanyakumari on the second day of his Yatra, I just want to make it clear, I am not leading this Padayatra. I am participating in this Padayatra. 
I am a member of the Congress and as a member and a person who agrees with the ideology of the Congress, I am participating in this Yatra. Rahul Gandhi said that the Yatra would be a very good experience for him personally. Hopefully, there will be some understanding about myself and this beautiful country from this Yatra. I think four months later, I will be little wiser, Rahul said. However, to know the impact of Rahul's Bharat Jodo Yatra, we will have to wait till the results of the 2024 parliament elections are out. I am Kesi Ashok signing off. Please subscribe to our channel, Kaumudi Global, for more news and human interest stories. Thank you.